Hello everyone and welcome back to Lateral Movement and Persistence. In this lesson we're going to talk about basic enumeration of the MayorSec webpage as well as our initial foothold within the domain and that's going to be through the Roundcube webmail service. So a couple of assumptions here, you've got access to this link within your browser whether you're in your Kali machine or you're in a local environment on Windows or Linux. And additionally you've got access to the Roundcube webmail service. So if we go ahead and we start scrolling through, we can see there's about, a bit of about information. We have some names here, uh, Aaron Adams, Jonathan, Taylor. Uh, we scroll down and then we start seeing you know, individuals that work for Marisex Security Solutions. So we've got Jonathan Taylor and Aaron Adams. These are owners and partners. Uh, they probably have some amount of influence uh, within the organization. There definitely want to be some people we pay attention to. Uh, we got Margaret and Jillian and Megan and Tabitha. Uh, Richard, and then if we scroll down, we've got some additional support staff. Uh, but that's going to be about it. We got some testimonial information, but what we don't have is possible usernames yet for this email service, right? So what we need to do is we need to generate uh, a possible word list or a possible username list for these users within uh, the Marisec domain and within that web service. So. What we can do, and I've already gone ahead and done this, we can go ahead and go through the website and we can take down those usernames or those, those individuals' names that we have as possibles that we can try to generate uh, a username list off of. Yeah. So we'll go ahead over here and we're going to use a tool called NameMash for this. And NameMash is a Python script that will generate different iterations of uh, usernames. So we can see the, the usage is name match and the names.txt. In this case, all we're going to do is names. So let's go ahead and hit enter here. And you can see that we've gone from 10 names here to a significant list of names uh, that name match has generated for us. So the next thing we need to do, obviously, is just output this to a word list or, or a different list itself. So we'll just call that combo list. We'll save it to our desktop. And then in order to do a password spraying attack, we need to have some passwords. And in this case, when we do password spraying, we want to use common passwords, things that uh, are going to be weak that people regularly use. And one of the you know, things that people uh, in every aspect of IT uh, and anybody who has passwords, it's, it's laziness, right? So uh, oftentimes password policies will rotate every 90 or 120 days. And generally speaking, rotating with the seasons is a good um, indicator of, of an, you know, an organization's password policy. So here we've got a few different passwords generated. We see we've got summer 2021, spring 2021, we got password one, two, three. In this case, we're just gonna stick to one just for simplicity. So we're gonna go with summer 2021. And what we can do is we're gonna use a tool called OWASP Zap. Now Zap is very similar to uh, like Burp Suite. Um, in Burp Suite Pro. It's a kind of a free version of Burp Suite Pro. It's got a lot of the same functionality. But we're going to use this because the Fuzz tool, which is much like the Burp Intruder tool, is just pretty quick and it's easy to use. And I don't think that Zap gets enough attention. So uh, we need to go ahead and first turn on our proxy. Uh, you should know how to uh, turn on a Foxy proxy proxy with uh, whether it's Burp Suite or OWASP Zap. Uh, if you use both of those tools, they're going to have to have different ports. So in this case, I think my OWASP app is like 8081. Um, but you set it as you need to locally. And what we're going to do is we're just going to capture a simple request. So we're going to go, we'll just call it test and test. And we want to see kind of what the uh, output is from that uh, request to the web server. So we see that we've got access uh, and, and it's proxied through and we have some information. And if we go to the post request, we can see that uh, what we're trying to post, if we click on request, it's got tokens, got the login action, etc. And then we see we got user equals and pass equals. So those are the parameters we want to pay attention to, right? So if we right click this post request, we go to attack and then down to fuzz, we can do what the burp intruder tool does. So we'll just go ahead and highlight test here. And we're going to add the word list. So we're going to go here to file and then we're going to select. We want to select that word list that we created, the combo list for the users. Let's go ahead and hit open, and you can see that it loads up uh, all of those different usernames that we generated. And we'll just hit OK, and we'll hit OK again. And now we want to do the same thing with test, but this time we want to use our summer 2021 payload. So let's go ahead and we can just type summer 2021 here. 
and we'll go ahead and hit add and we should see that the description is summer 2021 we'll hit ok and we should be able to start the fuzzer now and what this is going to do is try to find combinations of usernames and passwords that work within the web application so we're looking for things that don't match right so we've got a 401 here and on the response these are um, invalid attempts or these are invalid login attempts uh, but here we've got a 302 and don't pay attention to these 200s this is a round cube issue with csrf tokens so we're going to ignore those for now but we've got all these 401 unauthorized and then we've got a 302 so if we look at this unauthorized and we look at the request and it's t aaron and then summer 2021 we'll hit the stop button uh, but then we've got this 302 request with h Rowley summer 2021 and a 302 request, as you know, is a redirect. It's trying to redirect somewhere else. So that tells us that this may be a success for us, right? So you, we see actually it's setting cookies. Uh, it's got a location now, task equals mail and a token. So now we've been issued a token. So this is a good indicator that we might actually have access to uh, valid credentials. And again, we're getting these 200 errors here. These are because of CSRF uh, tokens on the web application. I actually had to disable CSRF. Uh, in order for us to password spray this application. So um, this is something you typically wouldn't see, but right here we see request check failed for your protection. Uh, access is secured against CSRF. This is because we're already logged in with this 302 uh, up here. So don't pay attention to the 200s. On this uh, application, it's just going to be 302. So if we come over here and we use those credentials, so we'll do ADAP to rolling, and then we're going to go summer 2021. And we'll go ahead and log in. So you'll see that we now have access to mail.mayorsec.com in an actual mailbox. In the next lesson, we'll talk about how we can leverage a tool called um, Outward to generate a malicious Word document. We'll send, uh, we'll start up uh, Covenant uh, coming up as well, and we'll show you how to host that Word document so that the individual can be sent a phishing email with a link to click and then execute uh, in order to uh, spawn our first shell and get our foothold on our first machine. So look forward to that in the coming lessons, and thank you for joining me.